All right. So headline number five, Chris, the FTC is suing Walmart. <laughs> That, that was that was a nice chortle right after wait, the wait for the pause. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> According to Payments Dive, the Federal Trade Commission said Tuesday that it sued Walmart in a civil lawsuit over the retailer's failure to protect customers using money transfer services at its stores from fraudsters, costing those customers hundreds of millions of dollars over years, the agency said. Walmart, quote, turned a blind eye while scammers took advantage of its failure to protect properly secure the money transfer services offered at Walmart stores, end quote. The FTC said in a press release, citing Walmart's failure to properly train employees or warn customers. Walmart may have even used procedures that aided the fraudsters, the agency said. Uh, Chris, this is uh, <laughs> this is no, no monkeying around, as my grandpa used to say. Like, this is not good. No, yeah, no. I think to that point, I don't, I don't love the headline, but it definitely caught my attention. I mean, yeah, I think you're right. It sounds completely ominous. Um, you know, and if anyone has any information on this, let us know, because this kind of sounds like a Woodward and Bernstein thing we got potentially going on here. Because what I know, and my buddy, you know, as, as, for those that don't know, my buddy was just named the like, head federal prosecutor in Idaho recently. And he told me something a few years ago I'll never forget. He's like, the government doesn't bring a case against you unless they think it's ironclad, hmm. which tells you a lot about the state of what else is going on politically right now, too. But, um, and I've, always, I've never forgot that. So that tells me that they think they have something possibly with airtight proof, which makes me wonder, this is the big question for me. How far up the Walmart leadership ladder does this go? Eesh. You know, does it stop with whoever was in charge of this program? Does it go further up to say Doug McMillan? That's the question here, and it's going to be freaking fun to watch how this plays out, and it could be quite alarming here too. But you know, hard to know without more information right now. But you got to wonder. That's my big question: is how far up the ladder does it go? As it should. I mean, this right. is a big problem for America's largest retailer, especially I'm I'm upset about this. Are one. you? Yeah, you seem a little you seem a little yeah agitated and ornery. Why? Because Walmart one is as we know the yeah. closest and most convenient retailer for any for people in this country to get a lot of those money transfer services and is a main trip driver for a lot of those families mm -hmm. who are sending trying to send money home or wherever and for for me, the biggest pain for, about this is that Walmart has been talking for the last year about all these efforts about how they're getting into the finance industry. They want to do their right. own money transfer services. They're trying to do financing for their customers, and they're doing all of this other stuff without like looking under the covers at their own operation and allowing this stuff to happen. And for people, in, innocent people who are just working hard and trying to get by to be taking this money from them is Oh, I am I am livid. Yeah, the fact that you're right. I mean, the fact that there's allusions to the that this was known and going on yes. and was kind of deliberately shuffled under the rug. And you're not training your employees? Like you're going to go roll out services and your employees don't even know how to do the services that you're offering in store right now? Like yeah. that's important. Yeah, although that one having been a former store manager and you working in stores too, like I think that one's a little thin for me. Like that's kind of the throw on that you add into like, "Hey, you didn't do a good job of training." Like it's just hard to train people in stores, okay. you know? So I can I can get by on that one. But the complicit, the complicit nature that is being potentially discussed here of the leadership is what is what I. Think I don't is know. I don't know. If I, I don't know okay. if I can get behind that. All like right. that, this is no different than like you can't sell cigarettes to somebody who's under eighteen or liquor to somebody who's under twenty one. Like there, it's a process just like any other or a checkout process. Like that's, that's you point. should be able. This is a this is a thing that it has repercussions like we're seeing right now if you don't do it right and i think that walmart should have been putting more priority on making sure especially as they're rolling out their own services like they are focused on this and the data that's coming in about yeah. this people were reviewing this to that's make sure that walmart's going to go in that direction and they did not make sure that like I, pause when yeah. you you start seeing this information yeah. somebody glossed over it you you have to put your own financial services yeah. on hold if you're going to do that. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, and did you read the FTC the press release too? Yeah, because yeah. you're bringing up something too that's important to call out. And I I, I don't want to say it explicitly because I want to make sure I get it right and I don't have it in front of me. But basically, they said that 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 there was there was basically a procedure in place where if you suspect fraud, still let it happen. Like it's okay to yeah. let it happen is what they're saying, and that's what you're alluding to too, which which is important. But Jesus, Ann. It's no, gonna be gonna be wild to watch this one. We're only at step one of this story too, I imagine. But like I said, if you got any information, let us know. We're all ears.